All right, Halos, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. Uh, we are heading to Skyhaven Temple, but we're going to stop along the way to uh, clear out any areas that we can, like these two little areas. There is a dragon up in the, the distance there, but I'm not sure if he's going to head this way. I don't think he is. We'll see, though. What is happening over there? Those hunters or something? Oh. There's some skeletons here. What the heck? That's interesting. Ancient Nord Sword. Why are there skeletons here? That's so strange. Respect that. Uh, got anything? Garnet, I'll take it, yeah. Got a little bit of like some Nordic ruins or something. Oh, we got some some burial things. Interesting. Very odd. I don't remember seeing this place before. What is that? Oh, it might be like a house or something. I can't really tell. All right. Well, anyways, um, moving on. Uh, yeah, we're trying to discover places. So let's go ahead and grab the deer hide because that'll give us some. Oh, hello. That'll give us. Liminal bridges. Uh, that'll give us some leather later on. Let's read that real fast, actually. Liminal bridges. Conjuration increased. All right. A discourse on the theory and prax praxis of traveling between Mundus and Oblivion by Camalonwe of Eleanor. Once again, just pause to read that. Uh, I've got an elven dagger here, but it doesn't look like I can pick it up. That's fine, though. Can I take the other stuff? Death Bell, Blister Word. Nice. I right, just kind of like a little random encounter type of thing here. That's cool. All right, anyways, moving on. Getting pretty close to that giant camp and this dragon. Might actually f kill this dragon soon. What is this, by the way? Got like a little puzzle here, it looks like. Wonder if there's a... Wonder if there's like a guide anywhere. Because I do not know which way I'm supposed to put them. Might have to look it up, we'll see. What's this? Oh, the handle, okay. So what if we get it right, we press the handle. Um, should I look it up, guys? I feel like I should. Oh, hello. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Is there a book anywhere or anything? I don't see anything, like, obvious. Usually these are very obvious, but sometimes they aren't. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think we'll have to come back. Oh, hello. What the heck are you doing? Wolf. Okay, well, we'll come back to this, I think, but uh, for now, let's continue on our merry way. Let's grab whatever ingredients we can, honestly. The more, the, the better. But yeah, let's head over to this uh, giant camp. Yeah, that dragon's pretty close, but he's not quite here yet, so that's fine. This tree looks kind of strange. Sleeping tree camp discovered. Oh. Okay. Is that the tree making that sound? It's very strange. Alright, who should we target first? I don't know. Let's do the mammoth, I guess. The giant's probably their best bet, but we're gonna do the mammoth for now. 
Alright, they see us. Oh my gosh, they took out Lydia real fast. This might have been a mistake. That hurt. Oh my good lord. That was a lot of damage. Away. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, guys. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Goodness gracious, that man hurts. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, well, that was unfortunate. Alright, let's not take out this camp yet, I guess. We'll uh, we'll come back to it. Looks like giants are a little too strong for us right now. That's fine. Let's go around it, if it'll let me. Let's, uh, let's take out the dragon, though. I think the dragon will be easier than that guy. To be honest. Depending on what level of dragon it is, there's gonna be. Is there gonna be mud crabs here? Looks like a mud crab area. Sometimes they're well blended though. Okay, looks like the mud crab or the uh, dragon did come to say hello. We'll jump back. Okay, that's interesting. Named dragon. What a guy. Oh, what are you doing over there, bro? Come on. Come fight me. Oh, they're fi it's fighting the the freaking giants. What the heck? Why would you do that? You silly goose. I wanted to kill you. Oh well. Alright. Well, he's a named, uh, Vuljotsnak. He's a named dragon, that's interesting. He was circling over here. Wonder if there's anything around here that's related to him. Let he sit down there. Some frostbite spiders. Looks like he came from there, maybe. Let's check it out real fast. See if it's anything interesting. Dragon soul absorbed, nice. Some elk or deer over there. Okay, my my world sprint fizzled into nothing. Whoops. Yeah, I think it was right around here somewhere with where he was. Circling around. Yeah? Looks like where he came from. I don't see anything interesting though, other than that. Alright, that's fine. Let's continue on, I guess. How close are we? Still got quite a ways, but we're getting closer. Could check out this cave over here along the way. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? I think yay. <laughs> Alright, let's get whatever. Ooh, learn roots. I can hear it. Nice. Let's go ahead and get all the ingredients that we can along the way. The more the better. I 
think this is a veteran's retreat, right? Let me grab these butterflies real fast. Ooh, another one. Another butterfly. Alright, is this veteran's retreat? Broken Fang Cave. Oh, okay. It's not veteran's retreat. Anyone guarding? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Wonder what's inside. Yeah, I do. Um, let me check this stuff real fast. Okay, we're good, I think. Broken Fang Cave. Okay. Sounds kind of familiar, but I don't quite remember it. Let's check it out, though. Let's try to clear it. Some wind or something. Oh, is this vampires? Oh, it is. You know what? I think I remember this place now, actually. A little bit, maybe. Kind of looks like part of another quest. Alright, bi biography of Baron Zai. Let me check. See if I've read this before. I have. Alright, volume 3 I've read. We'll grab this stuff, because it's worth a little bit of money. And the rest seems fine. When someone talking over there. Don't know where exactly though. Okay, lots of empty wine bottles. A chest over here. Adept, we can get that. <laughs> Alright, should be this direction then. A little bit more? Oh no, a little bit less. Okay. Very precise little lock there. Alright, nice, we got it. Looks like that's the direction we need to go. Is there anything up here? Nope. More empty wine bottles. Lots of open caskets. Did, but it's fine, we got him. You see the last boss in here? Looks like it. Is it cleared? It is cleared. Very right, nice. The quick little one. For the Wolf Queen Volume 1. I think we've already read this, but let me double check. No, we have not. Alright, let's check it out. Lock picking, nice. Oh, hold on. Okay. As always, pause to read. In search in table. Anything in here? Nah. Nothing of worth, at least. Leather strips? Sure, why not? Little candles there. Someone's RIP'd here. RIP. Alright, looks like he's having a feast <laughs> to himself. Guess we could sell the vampire boots, technically. The platter is not really worth that much, actually. Uh, Argonian cap, brief history in part two. Let me check, let me check. We have done that one in Argonian accounts. Dance and fire. I don't think we've done a dance and fire, actually. Argonian account book one, we have not done either. Okay, let's do this one. And then A Dance and Fire, Volume 1. All 
All right, there we go. Perfect. Uh, Immortal Blood. Let me check if I've read that. I have not. All right, let's check it out. By Anonymous. All right, perfect. Uh, another bed. Search this chest. Steel plate boots, nice. Those are pretty good. Sneak is 30% better. Nice, that's good too. I was gonna say those are, uh, those are pretty good. Actually, yeah, I've lost my train of thought. Never mind. <laughs> Walking the Word World Volume 10. I mean 11. Dance and Fire we already did just now. Professing the Fire Volume 2 we've already done. I'll take those. Dance and Fire Volume 1. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Same book. <laughs> Chance is Folly. Uh, looks like we have not done this one yet. That one sounds like a, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, it, it reminds me of a, um, a quest book, actually, but looks like not. Black Soul Gem, nice. Mystery of Talala, Talara Part 4. Uh, we might have already done that one, actually. The Mystery, um, I don't know. I think we've already done this one, but just in case, I'll go ahead and grab it. It's worth a lot, but it didn't give me a skill up, which makes me think I've already read it. Yeah, I don't know. But just in case we haven't, now we have. Iron Sword of Shocks. Cool, we can probably disenchant that unless we've already gotten that enchantment. Uh, we could actually use the Arcane Enchanter here. Get rid of some of our quick weapons. Um, Iron Sword of Shocks, so we already do have the Shocks. This I don't want to de disenchant just yet. I will do this one though. That's useful. These are ones I have on, so I don't really want to do that yet. And these, I can get this one, but this one I'm going to keep for now, I think. But we could do it if we wanted to. Mm. Let's see. What, how much would this cost? 214, 216, 237 is the high, oh no, 309 is the highest one. We could, because it'll level up our, um, our enchanting. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do a few of them. Amethyst ring. Vampire boots, I guess we could do, yeah. <laughs> It'll sell for better as well. And the steel plate boots I'm not really planning on keeping right now. We'll probably just sell them, so I might as well go ahead and enchant them. Level up our enchantments a little bit. Alright, nice. We have another level up, so that's good. Um, I kind of want to go ahead and put it into Magicka. Kind of balance out some stuff. We could do health, though. We are actually, no, I'm going to do health. We're actually a little bit, a little bit rough on health, to be honest. Could get this, but I don't really need to right now, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, shoot, shoot, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to go back into the skills and see what I want to put this into. Um, like I said, pickpockets going to be useful because of this one. Um, so I do actually need to grab this before I can get that one. And I need level 50 pickpocket for that, so. A little bit more, we need 17 more levels of pickpocket, but that's fine. We, we can get that pretty easily. At least relatively easily. Uh, human hearts. I think that's an ingredient, right? H H. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, I think we're good here. Pretty sure we're good here. All right, cool. Got a little bit of carry weights that we can sell for later, but I think we have enough uh, carry weight on us that we can actually like do at least one more place. Raid one more place on the way before going back to sell our stuff. All 
All right, looks like, ooh, there's a dragon over there or something. He's kind of glitching though, what the heck? That's kind of weird. Ooh, some mud crabs over here. Did someone see me? Oh, he seems like he's in combat with someone. Looks like the mud crabs all saw me. Okay, I'm missing every mud crab somehow. <laughs> I don't know how, but yep. What the heck is that? It's like a huge mud crab. It's like buried or something. That's crazy. Hello, sir. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. He's huge. He's like not an actual guy, though, it looks like. It's crazy. Oh, we got a dead adventurer here. Oh, here we go. Bound bounty juvenile of mud crab. Okay. Fishing rod, nice. What does this say? After hanging up my sword and bow to live a quieter life, I decided to study the lives and habitats of mud crabs here at the Rifton Fishery. It is my hope that one day we might breed mud crabs much like we do fish, if only everyone else at the fishery shared my interest. I am in search of a juvenile mud crab so that I may study its growth. These young mud crabs rarely leave the water, so I now need an intrepid fisherman to catch one. They can be caught in almost all lakes and streams throughout Skyrim, through though a breeding ground is said to be in right white run west, west of broken fang cave please make haste i must show progress in my research as soon as possible berea rifton fishery okay is that a quest no okay sounds like it is but i guess not um maybe we can fish here though that might be what's what it's telling us to do oh no ancient nord arrow that's all the ones I missed. I'm not sure, but uh, you can probably fish there, if I had to guess. <laughs> Anyways, what is this? Looks kind of interesting. Kyukar's <laughs> Monument, it looks like. Cool. I feel like, I think this is part of another quest later on. Something to do with Riften. And the Mar priest Maramal, or whatever his name is. Where? Oh, follow me, I guess. <laughs> Let's go fight this dragon. What is that? Oh, it's a guy on a horse. What the heck? Who are you? Hello? Noble and Imperial Soldier. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable ones. I have nothing to say to you. Now move along. Oh, okay. Join the Imperial Legion. There we go. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and grab this butterflies first, but uh then this dragon. Alright, nice. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, what the heck? He looks really fancy. This isn't Alduin, is it? Oh, it looks like it is, actually. Hold on. Quick save. Yeah, it looks like Alduin. What's he doing? my shield. There it is. Five. Ooh, okay. 
got a little bit brighter actually out here as well. Come back. Come fight me. Looks like Alduin's still raising dragons. Get that block increased a little bit. soul is big. Oh, he's running away. Hold on. Let me make sure I got his stuff first. <laughs> Alright, RIP, man. GG, though. Alright, that's the direction we need to go. We passed a little town here. And it looks like there's an enemy off in the distance, way over here somewhere. Not exactly sure where, though. Let's go ahead and discover this town real fast, though. We'll come back to it later. Ooh, actually, I might. Oh, it looks like the enemy decided to just be gone. That's fine, though. Nice, I got the butterfly. Good. Uh, let me grab this wheat real fast. Rorik's dead. Nice. That's where the guy at the beginning was. I've been looking for you. Let's see. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, thanks. Hold on, I want to hear this conversation over here. Oh, never mind. They're done with it. Shoot. My bad. I should have waited on the wheat. Well, let's read this little note then. Museum pamphlet. Silas Vesuius presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn, a history of the cult that toppled the Septim Dynasty, inside of his very own home in the great capital of the Pale, Dawnstar, free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. Alright, nice. Alright, like I said, we'll we'll talk to these people later, but for now, we're just gonna kind of just move on for now. <laughs> uh, we'll probably go over to one of those two locations over here first, although if this house is real close, I can grab it real quick. Doesn't seem too far actually. Let's let's look at it real quick and then we can go over there. Is it right over here? Or is it down on the other side of the mountain there? That's a nice little glitch. <laughs> oh there it is. Is that a skeever? Hold on, I don't know if- oh, it is an enemy, okay. I didn't know if they were going to be enemies or not. Well, let's get them then. Alright, let me search them real fast. What were these guys doing over here? Lund's Hut. Okay. Um... Let's check it out real fast, and we can end the episode there. Yeah. Okay. Looks like his place has been a little bit ransacked. Take the garlic and the dread Miriam, or frost Miriam, I mean. Got a few books here. Okay, okay. Ruined book, boots, raw beef, butterfly wing, cowl, okay. What else we got? It's got a skeever little mount thing. Interesting. Alto wine, poison, another book, hunting brew mead, okay. Alto wine in table. Oh, hello. Here he is. No note that I can see. Maybe in the chest? Nope. Looks like they must have got him in his sleep. Dang, that's rough. Well, RIP, man. Hope you uh, hope you end up in Sovngarde, I guess. <laughs> um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and read these books uh, just real fast, whichever ones I haven't already done. First Old Revolt, I know I've done. Uh, Cake of the Dime, I know I've done. The Real Baron Saya, Volume 1. I've not done. Let's do that one real fast. By Anonymous. That's quite a long one. All right, uh, Mysterious Akavir. I don't think we've done this one yet. No, we have not. What did that say at the very beginning? Akavir means dragon land. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Frontier Conquest. That was nice and short. All right, perfect. Well, that's going to be it for us here today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace.